Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update, and I've recently gotten a request to do a tutorial on how to install iOS 5 beta software. Now before you install any beta software, you're going to need to do one of two things. The first option is to become a registered Apple developer, which costs $99 per year. Now I know a lot of you guys out there don't develop apps and you just want to try out the beta software before it comes out to the public. So your other option is to get your UDID registered. So this costs seven dollars per uh, per device that you want to register, and I would recommend this site. It's iModZone Downloads. I will provide a link to it in the description. Um, I know there are methods out there to bypass the activation of UDID, so it theoretically allows you to run beta software for free. This is not something that I support, but if you want to do it, there are, I'm sure there's other videos on YouTube you can check out. But nonetheless, in order to actually um, get beta software on your device, you're going to have to install it. So you're going to need to d download two things. The first is the actual beta firmware itself. So currently we're up to iOS 5 beta 5. If you want to download this, I will also pi to provide a link in the description to these downloads. So you're going to f uh, find the one that corresponds with your device here. Secondly, you're going to need to get the latest beta um, iTunes. So currently it's 10.5 beta 5, so you're going to want to get this for your corresponding operating system. So I'm on a Mac, I downloaded this one. I have an iPhone 4 that is a GSM model, so I also downloaded this. So once you've downloaded the iTunes beta, you're going to want to go ahead and install that. And then put your firmware somewhere that's easily accessible. I've put it on my desktop here because I always go there for a lot of things. So let's hold, bring up iTunes in a full screen here. Now before you install the beta software, you're going to want to make sure that everything backs up with iTunes. So just in case something goes wrong with this process, you're not going to lose all your important data. Once you're ready to go, what you're going to need to do if you're on a Windows machine is press Shift and the Restore button at the same time. If you're on a Mac like me, you'll press Option and Restore. So let me go ahead and do that and it will bring up this window here. Now in this window you're going to browse for the iOS 5 beta software that you downloaded on your computer. So I've placed it on my desktop and I can go ahead and choose this one. So go ahead and click on it. And go ahead and then click restore. So it's going to go ahead and extract the software and then go through the process of installing this beta software on your device. Now if everything goes well it should bring you to the personal setup feature on your iPhone and when you plug it back into iTunes you will have the option then to restore from a backup so you can get all your data back on there. But once again I am not responsible if anything goes wrong with this process. I'm only doing a t tutorial on how to do it and I would recommend getting your UDID activated if this is something you're interested in doing. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys if you guys want me to make a video on a tutorial or anything like that, I'd be glad to do it as long as I'm familiar with the subject. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.